So guys, how does it feel to both have won in 2022? Yeah, we won basically everything this year. Couldn't have asked for too much more, I guess. It's been great. I've been mortified, fortified, fitting like a Mordecai. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of my n**** die. Knock you off a base with a bat when them n**** slide. Homicide, genocide, televised, emphasize. Perpetuating war, tell that nigga he gon' pick a side. Hood ties from hood lines, my n**** doing dope lines. I'm running to the cops, that's a b**** exercise. Uh, don't run into the cops, that's the motto. I don't see it coming to an end like Legato. Doing the full arm and it's, uh, yeah, it's a different game. So we basically had no prior history of a long course even though we have done great in the half distance before. The reason why we had so much success going into the long course and like a new challenge is a little bit because we're like bringing in the way we've been working in short course and all like being sort of using the science and the numbers to help us and support us and to get a better understanding and yeah I feel it's been 12 months of learning. The tricky part in Ironman is you have to sort of look at the whole uh, swim, bike and run as it's like one race almost like you're racing there for eight hours and if you're like tuning your body to be able to be quick in the water you will maybe sacrifice it for the energy system later on on the bike and on the run and the same especially on the bike like you can really dial into an aerodynamic position which will maybe make you faster for the bike but it will be much more costly coming on to the marathon so it's been like being able to find that um, sweet spot of being fast but also not sacrificing what's coming up later on in the race. My uh, Kona strategy was pretty simple before the race. Try to be on the front pack in the swim and then ride okay conservatively but not losing too much time and then the last 10, 15 K on a run, I would go really hard. Basically, everything went as planned. You obviously have to do some adjustment during the race. At one point there, halfway in the bike, I was really, really struggling. I was really far behind, and I was definitely not riding conservatively anymore. I was pushing way up in the threshold zone and sometimes even above. So even though like the whole picture kind of went exactly as planned, it is moments in the race where you are really struggling and you have to dig deeper than you thought. Well, in St. George, I obviously wanted to be in that first pack, yeah, sort of by myself and had to ride the first 60k by myself before I was caught by some stronger riders from behind. And that was definitely not my plan when I woke up in the morning and or in like the winter training. So I felt that was sort of out of control, but I still had I was thinking that if I'm able to get through the last 100k on the bike without losing too much more time, then I would still be in like a shot for at least a podium. I think it made it the feeling of winning that race even more special because I felt I was sort of behind schedule the whole day from the swim, bike, and then 14k to go, I was finally like bridging up and going into the front and knowing that, yeah, I have the win in my pocket. In a race like Kona, it's not about uh, always having the pure fastest bike. You have to have the best system. So that includes the nutrition and the wheels and yeah, your position on the bike because you gotta run a marathon after. To be a part of developing a bike like this is obviously special. Like to feel the support from such a big brand as KDEX and the fact that they believed in me even before I won any of the titles I've done. I think it was the end of 2020 when they came up with the idea that I could be the first guy to ride the new KDEX Tri. So we're both obviously spending an insane amount of time together. Sometimes a bit uh, too much, so it's good to have some breaks. But uh, yeah, when we line up at the, at the start line, it's good to have some uh, kind of comfort because we know that uh, we've been doing the same training and we have the same ambition. And even though we're competitors, we are competitors trying to win together. It's a bit hard to uh, explain, but uh, we kind of have two shots because obviously if I have a sick day, which I actually had quite a lot of sick days this year. I know that Christian is ready on the start line and he's gonna yeah, make it really hard for the rest to win. Even though we both want to win ourselves, we kind of have like a, a second shot with our other guy on the start line. You're not just standing there on the start line by yourself, but you have someone around that's sort of giving you a little bit slack on the course until the very end. Yeah. Because like <laughs> we tend to work together until like a moment in the race where you suddenly try to stab each other and go for the win. So we're both holding a knife to each other's back. And so we're waiting, waiting, waiting. When is the backstabbing coming? So we're kind of helping each other, pushing, pushing, pushing. But then 
we do the final stab, the last few K on the run.